What's up guys, Rowan here, RowanZoneFitness.com, and I just want to talk to you about how often you should train. Um, I was just talking about this with a few guys from the gym, and you know, it's become very apparent to me, and, and just from everything that I've learned and experienced and helping other people, there is no right answer to this. You know, there is no, there is no right number or, or a specific training split that is going to be best for everybody. Everybody is different. So if anybody ever tells you that their way is best or that way is best or you should work out four times a week or three times a week to failure, you know, every set or, or never train to failure or, or any of that, don't listen to them. You need to find out what works for you and, and then stick to that. And then over time, you're going to evolve and your methods will grow and your body's going to change and, you know, uh, bodybuilding and and even power powerlifting and weight training in general is a evolving process. It's it's always going to change. Your body's always going to change. Your strength levels are going to change. Your your you know your physical size is going to change, uh, and the amount of volume that you can handle is going to change. So wherever you may be right now isn't where you're going to be in three months, six months, in a year. You know if you're doing it right, you're going to be making progress. So you know for whatever reason. Everybody is different and you have to find out what works for you. So the best advice I can give you for how often you want to work out, well, I would say just listen to your body. That's the best thing that you can do. And if it's, for example, I'll use uh, hypertrophy as an example because that's what most guys want to do. They want to get bigger. So if you want to get bigger, the best thing you can do is work out, right? Let's say you, let's say you hit chest on Monday, okay? You hit chest on Monday, and you're somebody that likes to go to failure on every set, like I do. I, that's what I prefer to do. That's what gives me the best results. So you go to failure, right? You hit every set, you're going to failure. So the next day, you're very sore. Your, your muscles, you got a very intense workout in. Your muscles are drained. It's going to take you three or four days to fully recover. So the, at, at the end of those three or four days... It's not always going to be the same, you know, some, some, one week it might be three days, another week it might be four days, it could be even five days, you know, you never know how long it's going to take you to fully recover, and that's the most important thing is that you do fully recover before you hit the muscle again, you don't want to continue to tear down a muscle before it's fully recovered, that's counterproductive, that's, I mean, that's a fact, that's something that's been proven, that's something you want to completely avoid, so... Really, just listen to your body. You know, as soon as you recover, you can um, hit that body part again, and that way you know you're you're training for maximum uh, muscle gains. So, pretty much, as soon as you're completely recovered, you hit the muscle again. Then you eat and sleep and rest until that muscle's recovered. And then you do it all over again. So just keep it simple. That's the easiest way to do it. That's the you know that's the simplest way to do it. Uh, don't get too caught up in all these training splits and, and you know, uh, special lifts that you can do and all this stuff. Just keep it simple. Obviously, there's good training routines out there, but uh, the main thing is that you're stimulating the muscle, that you're doing enough work to stimulate the muscle, and you'll know that by your by your soreness. If you're the next day, if you're not sore, you're probably not doing it. You know, you're probably not doing it right. You're probably not working out intensely enough. Uh, you really need to feel something. And over time, as you get used to more volume, yeah, you're not going to be as sore as when you first started out, but you should always still feel some kind of some kind of soreness from your workouts. Okay, because you're always, the, the point is to always break down the muscle so it can rebuild and come back stronger and grow. So you always want to feel some kind of soreness from your workouts. So as soon as you're done, I mean, as soon as you're recovered, you just hit it again, and then that's going to employ your best uh, muscle growth results. So, and I've done a video on this before, similar to this, but like I, like I was saying, your split just needs to be dynamic. Just keep in mind, uh, just listen to your body, and always keep in mind that, you know, rest, the amount of sleep that you get, and the amount of calories that you're taking in are going to affect how quickly you recover and how much you're going to grow you know, your diet is very important, sleep is very important, and one more quick thing, not a huge, well, it is kind of a huge deal, if, I, if you're 
on gear, you know, if you're taking a pro hormone or if you're taking steroids, your recovery time is going to be cut uh, way back. You're going to recover a lot faster, I should say. So keep that in mind. I mean, in order to maximize growth while you're on cycle of anything, you know, keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to, or you're not, you don't have to go by the same rules as somebody that's natural, is what I'm saying. So in order to get the most um, effective growth throughout your cycle, don't think that you have to stick to the same things. That's why, why, that's why I say it's always important just to listen to your body and, uh, you know, just feel it out. Your split should be dynamic. It should be ever-changing. You just listen to it. Have your routines preset. Already know what you're going to do in the gym, but just don't set a certain date for certain muscle groups. Just uh, play it by ear, but you should already know what you're going to do once you're in the gym as far as what specific exercises, and your diet should already be laid out. Your diet should already be laid out, you know, conducive to your goals, whether you're, you're trying to drop weight, cut body fat, or whether you're trying to get bigger. Those two things should already be set. But as far as what you're hitting on any given day, uh, that's always going to change. And if you have like a lagging or a, a muscle group that you're trying to bring up, you can always throw that in on more days. You know, but that that's all up to you. Just keep in mind that the main thing here, I know I'm rambling, sorry, but the main thing is to just make sure you're fully recovered, work out intensely, and then just listen to your body as far as when you should hit that muscle group again. And I guarantee you that will give you the best results of anything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time.